Guys, we found it. This is the most beautiful resort that we have ever been to. We are at Anantara Al Jabal Al Akdar, and well, welcome to Oman. Okay, so we actually arrived here at Anantara at 9.30 this morning, mm -hmm. but check-in was actually at 3 p.m. It's our fault. Our flight was way too early. But if you think that we lost a day because we didn't have a room, well, you'd be wrong. First of all, we had an amazing two-hour ride from the yeah. airport through the mountains. It was stunning. stunning. We had some amazing food. The food here so far is amazing. Very, very good. And we enjoyed the pool, and Tracy got something special at the pool. A bird. It might be a little bird. <laughs> so this place is super nice and fancy, meaning that we need to go take a shower. Yeah. Put something more proper. And you put some cream fancy. on the burn. Yeah, you need to do that too <laughs> for the rest of the day. So let's go get ready. And much better. But that hat. Okay. So well, now let's show you guys the room to start. Yeah. And then we're, we have a very special spot for sunset tonight. So very excited. The, the, guys, the view here is just unbelievable. Okay, just wait for it. It's unbelievable. And we had some treats just dropped off. So we're probably going to do room tour with treats. They just dropped some chocolate. So let me show you around. Um, I apologize in advance if I start stuttering. Uh, it's beautiful. My mind is blown and we've slept four hours in the last 36. I love a good travel day. <laughs> okay, so here in the living room, uh, you have a seating area, and one thing I do appreciate is like the little Arabic accents that are kind of spaced throughout the villa. By the way, this is a one bedroom cliffside villa. I think it's like the top room you can get here, and it is absolutely, I'll show you the best part for last as usual. Um, little things too, like there's even a game underneath of here as well. So, speaking of activities, if you have an artistic bone in your body, which I do not, <laughs> but I appreciate the effort. Um, yeah, it's just plain here. You can sketch and once you see out the window, you'll understand why. So if we come in the back here, um, we have our coffee bar, which is fantastic. So we have coffee pods here, lots of water, which is appreciated because it is hot right now. Uh, what do we got in here? So we have like your wine glasses and everything there. Not that we brought wine, but you can have your own wine fridge if you want. And then you have your mini bar in here. Into the bedroom, we have a king size bed here. Trust me, we didn't lay on it yet because as soon as we lay down, we're probably not getting back up, but it feels super comfy. And then we have another little seating area here. The color scheme, honestly, I love it. Again, when you see outside, you'll understand why it all matches. We even have his and her closets. Won't go too far in because we've already put our stuff in there. And the bathroom. The bathroom is literally as big as the bed bedroom part. So, and here you have a toilet. David appreciates a separate toilet out of the bathroom. Um, double sink here. I love the fact that you have like the full mirror. It's easier to get ready. And then, hopefully I don't get my pants wet. This shower is from the ceiling. We have a fantastic shower. There's even a bathtub here. And if you go this way, it just feels like you're in a spa because it has a door that's like a window and it looks like a spa outside just, just because. Beautiful. Now to the best part though. Let's go back outside. Wipe my feet off. Come back to the front of the bed. This is ours. Privately ours. This whole entire deck, this whole entire pool is just ours. And do you see the view in the back? It is straight off the cliff and look at the mountains. So sunset is actually right here. So we are in Villa 11 and what that does is we can see 
like basically have a clear path of sunset without going to the main area as well. But like, am I dreaming? So the sun actually sets in front of the pool, in front of the resort, and they have like uh, little platforms basically where you can go see the sunset. And we're gonna try to do that because I think it's gonna be stunning with the mountains and everything. Oh, it's Probably a top 10 sunset of all time. As long as that haze doesn't come over to where the sun is, we'll be good. Fingers crossed, but I think we're gonna be good. So behind me is actually one of the most beautiful viewpoints here on property called Diana's Point. This was named after Princess Diana when her and Charles came here in 1986 in their honor. Sunlight, dancing on me, it's a goodbye. Your smile, it's the only thing on my mind. So we just sat down for dinner here at Bella Vista, it's basically their Italian restaurant. The food looks fantastic, literally everything on the menu I wanted. And by the way, if you ever come to any Anantara property around the world and you want to splurge a little or a lot, you should try their dinner by design, something that we've done in Mauritius. Just a fantastic meal yeah. experience. So but I'm sure tonight like, is going to be great too. It's curated specifically to each property too. Um, so just something to think about. Otherwise, cheers. Cheers. Starting with some homemade focaccia. We have sun dried tomato and olive paste. We got one Beretta salad, which looks fantastic, and one tuna tartare. Oh, which is delicious. to this basically like if we have any laundry to do or anything but there's also this it smells like coconut but because it's with the laundry bag I have no clue if it's like soap to do our own laundry or if it's a treat I guess there's only one way to find out that's soap that's soap no, I'm joking, it's a treat. It's delicious. <laughs> Amazing dinner, which by the way, if you're like on full board or half board like we are, you actually get 26 OMR credit, so you can go to the uh, a la carte restaurant as well. The Highly suggest. Yeah. And we're gonna try the other one tomorrow. Of course. Talking about tomorrow, lots, lots, lots tomorrow. Um, we're gonna show you the rest of the resort, which is absolutely stunning. But we also have activities, because you guys know me, I can't just be here and relax. That is impossible. So very excited about that and see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Good morning. I think Tracy will agree that this would be an understatement to say that we had a wonderful night. We slept for 12 hours <laughs> and we have not done that in ages. Like, head hit the pillow, out. But there's no <laughs> issue here if you want to sleep in because breakfast runs until 10.30 yeah. and that's what we're going to go do right now. Very excited. Me too.
There's so much food option, it's almost overwhelming. This is a kind of buffet that I thought I could only dream of, but I found it in real life. How's your food? Very good. On top of the food though, this view. So for breakfast, I went for a more savory option where Tracy always goes for the, the sweet <laughs> stuff, but I got a perfect mix of like local dishes and, you know, the typical American omelet. But here comes the real test. I got a mini pancake and there was a container with some golden liquid written on it, maple syrup. Is it real? I think it is. I think it's real maple syrup. That was a great breakfast. So now that our belly's full, uh, we went back to our room and they're cleaning it, so it's a perfect time to show you around. We're gonna start at the rec center and outside, there's even a one hole mini pot. And if you look over there, there is a playground there. Um, I'm gonna do our best to kind of show you inside. There are two um, kid centers as well, so we'll just kind of be mindful of that. Uh, but there's a gym and a tennis court, and I think that's it. <laughs> Let's go see. So here in the gym, you have your cardio machines and you even have a weight section as well. But something you don't see very often is actually the climbing wall there in the back. It's because I don't have the right shoes right now. So in the kids play area, they even have a trampoline, which is pretty cool. Um, and then the tennis court behind me, they have basketball nets. So for the rest of our little resort tour, to make it more interesting, we're gonna be using these very nice bikes that you can use at your leisure when you're a guest at this resort. section of the resort, there's even a parking lot to put your bike. So starting in the main courtyard area, on this side you actually have two souvenir shops. The first one is more essentials I would say, so like there's extra sunscreen, there's bathing suits, things like that, a couple of little souvenirs. Um, and then the one on the other side is more of your true souvenirs. And there is a mug that I really want to get and Dave and I are going back and forth. Or I'm getting it. <laughs> and then, this area here actually goes upstairs and leads you to the main restaurant. So that's kind of where you have your breakfast buffet. Uh, there is a dinner buffet there as well. And then if you look out in the middle, like I said, it's a courtyard. So there is a absolutely stunning fireplace in the middle. And at nighttime, like we have some shots of it and it is definitely a must see if you're staying here. And over on this side is a coffee bar and you can even get some like bitings, potentially like a small lunch menu as well. Upstairs, uh, they have a bar and shisha lounge there as well. So maybe tonight if we have time, we'll see if we can get a chance to go up there. So we just came inside and discovered they even have ice cream. So this is your first look of the resort. You get dropped off here and then you go inside to the lobby. On one side you have kind of like a seating area while you're getting checked in and everything. To the other side is a true reception area. Let me tell you, the smell inside is the best smell. It's like vanilla warm baked cookies almost. It smells fantastic, warm and welcoming inside. So something that we didn't know about Oman, but we've seen a lot of like olive oil refinery and stuff is they're known for olives. Uh, so basically all along the path, there are olive trees everywhere. And right now, I don't know if it's a specific season, but they are filled with olives. Okay, so Anatara basically has uh, villas and rooms. So on this side of the resort, we have the rooms, and then our side where we start off, we have the villas. So on the side of the resort that most of the rooms are on is the spa. The spa behind me, uh, we just went inside, I don't wanna talk in there because it's the perfect ambiance, quiet, dim, everything like that is stunning. You have free access to the steam room and the jacuzzi. And the jacuzzi is like this mini pool, beautiful. There's even mattresses on the side where you can have a nap after. This is definitely a spa worth checking out. So on the entirety of the back side of the resort, which is what I would call like the cliff side, uh, we have our main pool, two viewpoints, and the restaurant that we ate supper at last night, which by the way, it was really, really good. <laughs> I hope 
thought this resort tour wasn't too long, but seriously, it's massive, it's beautiful, it is worth a visit, it's just Oman in general, like, stunning. And now that we've showed you around, well, it's time for us to enjoy this beautiful pool, this beautiful view, and this beautiful wife. That's all for us. <laughs> Sorry, I'm putting sunscreen on my ears. <laughs> <laughs> Making you look like Dumbo. <laughs> and then after that, I, in actually an hour and a half, we have a super cool activity planned, super pumped about it. So, yeah, see you then. This place, I'm telling you. Whew. So after spending a couple hours in our beautiful little pool, which we cannot get over, it no. is fantastic. Stunning. We are actually doing one of uh, Anantar's offering, a little a village tour, three mm -hmm. villages. Well, three village tour. I think we're gonna kind of see, well, obviously the village, but like yeah. their home, potentially some of their farming. I'm not really sure. Mm -hmm. more cultural yeah. and that's kind of what we wanted so we have our pants yeah. our shoulders are covered Hats gotta on. respect the I culture have a scarf just in case my neck might yeah. be a little low and i'm looking forward to it i love cultural experiences yeah <laughs> So out of the three villages, the first one and the third one are actually completely abandoned, but people still own uh, properties in those villages. And apparently they're slowly um, starting to restore uh, the houses in the village themselves to turn them into basically guest house and into businesses. So what you see over there, kind of like the ridges in the cliff, um, it's a farming system. And it's a way like obviously that you can retain the water on the top and stuff. We are going to learn more about it, but from what I can gather, the top trees, they're all pomegranate trees. I would love to have some fresh pomegranate juice. I don't know if it's a thing in here in Oman, uh, but I have heard about it in the Middle East, so we'll see. It's fascinating that the people found a way to grow these beautiful, massive green trees on basically rocky ground in the middle of the desert. Like, incredible. Fun fact, that massive building on top of that mountain there is actually owned by the Qatari um, royal family. I know our guide said that this place is abandoned, but like this is the most active abandoned place I've ever seen. There's literally construction everywhere and they're redoing all the buildings and everything. Beautiful doors, beautiful walls and everything. These are going to be like super cool guest houses and it would really like give you the opportunity to kind of live like a local. And almost every single rock you see, there is fossils because apparently most of these rocks millions of years ago were actually underwater and with the tectonic plate activity they were kind of resurfaced and they kind of ended up on this mountain i guess but incredible you want to hear something funny a few years back when george bush was actually the president of the united states he came here for a visit and decided to um, walk in between villages but these kind of like walk or like plan months and months in advance and for the longest time these stairs didn't exist it was just like you know walking down on the rock but it was apparently a little bit slippery sometimes so just before his visit they actually made those stairs just for that one person nobody ever built me stairs you guys too much because uh, I need to walk on this very narrow thing but basically um, the spring that you just saw where the two guys just jumped this is underground water and it's actually coming from the mountain through a, a little cave and this is what they use basically uh, for their irrigation system like it's all natural water so on top of pomegranates they even have apricot trees and everything that you see here to the left are all roses
So we just came to the third village. Uh, this one is abandoned. So we came to one of the houses that they honestly, they just leave it open. Uh, there's two rooms in it, but downstairs is actually where they make the rose water. Here is a smoky rose water. Um, it's not your standard like rose smelling. We did smell it and it smells very, very smoky. <laughs> always have to sign the guest book. So one of the main reasons why people actually abandoned those villages is that back in the days they didn't have any power or water but about 15-20 years ago according to our guide they installed power lines and also um, overground um, water line. This is why not people are coming back. And don't forget that Anantara is a luxury resort so now we're just up on the side of the road. Our guide apparently in his backpack has some snacks, dates, coffee, whatever you want. And if you're worried about the walk back, don't worry, you get picked up at the end. <laughs> I feel like a dog when I do this. Thank you very much. That smell, guys, every time you come back into the resort, I'm telling you, it's so good. <laughs> well, nice meeting you. Thank, Thank you, you very Thank much. You so overall, like a very nice store. Mm -hmm. um, the walk is not too complicated or anything. It's about two, three kilometers. Yeah, as long as you can do stairs, you can do that. Yeah, and it was very interesting to like go through the villages, especially to see like their irrigation system for the, the farming yeah. of roses and pomegranates and things like that. Yeah. Super cool. And yeah, like, I mean, being on the resort is amazing, but I always like to do something local, like just to see something and like going uh, for a walk through those villages just really hit the spot. Yeah, it'd be cool too. So like, I think give it a few more years too, where they're renovating some of the places in the abandoned mm -hmm. villages. They're gonna be guest houses and stuff. Yeah. So that could be really Maybe really we'll cool. stay there one day. That'd be yeah. cool. Now we need to shower and get ready for supper. Welcome for dinner at Al Maison. This is like their main restaurant. This is where we get a breakfast buffet yeah. in the morning. But tonight it's actually a la carte. They have a special Asian menu tonight, but we're yeah. not gonna go for that. We're gonna go for the normal like half board because there's a lot of good stuff on that menu. There is. To be honest, we were gonna go Asian, <laughs> but then we looked at the half board menu and looks That's pretty what dang good. <laughs> yeah. So every meal comes with some fresh baked bread. And I've been eyeing this pita. Oh my goodness, it's hot. Mm. And there's other buns in there too. Normal buns, ciabatta, amazing. the New York style cheesecake because the cheesecake last night was pretty good so mm. Mm -hmm. I got some ice cream when I ordered they were like how many scoops I was like how many can I have They're like, <laughs> up to three so I got vanilla chocolate and pistachio vanilla is very good pistachio is pretty good too and chocolate is my favorite That was a super good dinner. And Tracy would even go above and beyond and say that it was a little bit better than yesterday. Yeah, I think well-rounded. Like last night was still good, but like everything we had yeah. tonight was just a like very, very a nice really dinner. good fine dining And experience. our waiter was so nice. It's great. <laughs> so now we're just gonna check out the bar on the other side and see what it looks like. Tomorrow morning, we are actually leaving quite early yeah. uh, to go back to Muscat. 
carrying on with our Oman series, but this was such a good start to it. It really was. So far our experience, we've also been to Anatar and Mauritius, like we said before. Um, it really is a true five star. All so it. far it seems to be like across the board with the two yeah. properties we've been to. But like here, don't get me wrong, you have the absolutely stunning mm. views, but like your accommodation matches it. Oh, like yeah. it's just luxury everywhere. The food is absolutely luxury too. Like just, <laughs> it's five star across the board. One word, luxury. They yeah. have like all the activities that you can do. Like yeah. everything looks amazing. I really wish we had more time. Um, yeah. Like Tracy said, food, room, amenities, the service, like the quality of the staff is just unbelievable. Yeah. They're always there to help. Like you won't be able to open a door or anything here. Like they're yeah. always there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, overall, a big thank you to Anantara for having us. Yeah. I really hope that we're going to be able to visit more of their property because like we're in love. Absolutely. <laughs> we're going to put their website down below if you're wondering uh, if you want more information, prices and everything. Yeah. Everything you need to know down below in the description. So check it out. And until then, see you guys in the next one.